Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and I really had a fun time at theaters in 2011. Not as much fun as I had in theaters. There were several movies that just were shit. So I am going to bring you the 15 worst movies of the year. Those movies on this list are pure shit. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 15, Shark Knight 3D. You know, this could have been a good movie about a shark eating a bunch of people if the characters of the movie were actually good. But you know what the problem is? The characters are either very boring or very annoying. And that is a big problem because if I don't like the characters, I can't really feel for them when the shark is eating them. Number 14, Priest. You know, this could maybe be a good movie if this movie wasn't trying to be something that it's not. But unfortunately, this movie tried to be something that it's not. It tried to be a, a movie about a priest. It failed. It tried to be about vampires. Failed. I can't ignore the fact that this movie tried to be something that it's not. And that is the reason why it's a bad movie. Number 13, Killer Elite. This is probably the most disappointing movie of the year. I mean the rest of the movies on this list are scrapped for that Russian movie. They're movies that I expected to be bad, but this is a movie that I expected to be good, but it wasn't. Now, I'm a big fan of Jason Statham, and he isn't really the problem with the movie. In fact, all of the actors did a good job on their characters, but the problem with this movie is that the story was just so poor. I couldn't understand what was going on for most of the movie, because the story was written so poorly, and that really ruined the movie for me. Number 12, The Hunter. Most of you probably have never even heard of that movie. And if you haven't, you are indeed lucky. Despite the title of the movie, there is nothing exciting or even interesting going on in this movie. This is basically a movie about a farm, and the movie is just so boring. That's the biggest issue I had with the movie. It's boring. This is the only non-American movie on my best and worst list, and I'm going to tell you something. I saw that movie at the movie festival. and how disappointing it was. There are just so many movies of the same name, so I confused this movie with another one, which is apparently more absurd. Number 11, The Hangover Part 2. The first Hangover movie is a classic. It is one of the greatest comedies ever made. But the second one is just shit. The second one had no point, the story was horrible, and it's just an example of how it's sometimes a bad idea to make a sequel. I mean, 
What can you possibly add to the previous hangar movie? You can. So what we got is a messy sequel. Number 10, Red Riding Hood. This is the worst adaptation of that classic fairy tale. It's a boring, horrendous movie with some bullshit story about a werewolf in a village. And worst of all, this movie has almost nothing to do with the story of Red Riding Hood. Number 9, Mars Needs More. Do I really need to say anything? I mean, just listen to the title. The title alone gives the indication that the movie is bad. Just the idea of Mars needing moms is just so stupid. I mean, seriously, the concept is just so bad. Number 8, Conan the Barbarian. Well, the main problem with this movie is that the story was just so uninteresting. I wasn't interested in Conan one bit. And not to mention, the whole story is also just so uninteresting. Number seven. Jack and Jill. The twin Adam Sandler played us is just there are so many problems with that character. That twin Adam Sandler played is annoying, offensive, pissed me off. There are so many problems with the twin Adam Sandler played us. And you know what's worse? Nobody saw through his bullshit. That's right, nobody in the movie saw through it. Nobody in the movie thought that character was annoying or anything like that. And that's a problem, because I couldn't stand that character. Especially since the rest of the characters were totally okay with that. The only character that wasn't was the other character played by Adam Sandler. Number 6, The Smurfs. As a big fan of the animated show The Smurfs, I was looking forward to this movie, and from the first trailer, I thought the movie would be good. However, when the later trailers came out, I saw clearly that the movie was gonna suck. And it did. This movie pays no respect to the swords material. In fact, this movie shits on the swords material. Now even though they did get Gargamel and most of the Smurfs right, the problem with this movie is everything else about it, like the storyline, sucked. And so did all of the other characters. That's a problem with Hollywood. It has no shame shitting on the source material of something popular. Number 5, Rapper.
Now, I will admit, I did expect this mood to be at least good, but it wasn't. And that tire killed the people in the lamest ways possible. I mean, I expected something cooler. I expected the tire to kill the people in a cooler way. But it didn't. It just did it in a very lame way. Number four, Zookeeper. Now, I don't have a problem with the fact that this movie is about talking animals, but what I do have a problem with is the fact that those talking animals gave the main character played by Kevin James the worst advice you can possibly give to someone regarding relationships. And of course, so the main character is a fucking idiot, he just follows those advices. Now, I don't have a problem with idiots in movies as long as they're funny, but I just did not find the character of Kevin James to be funny in the slightest. I'm sorry. Number three, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Now, I don't like pet movies, especially this one. Penguins as a pet? That's just, just a bad idea. I was probably supposed to care about those penguins and relate to them, but I couldn't. I mean, they're fucking penguins. How was I supposed to relate to them? Not to mention those penguins caused a lot of trouble. And at the top of that, Jim Carrey played as an extremely boring businessman that I didn't care about. Number two, big mamas like father, like son. You know what problem I had with the movie? Is that it's racist, offensive, and I just couldn't stand any of those characters. I mean, any of those two main characters. They were both just characters that I just couldn't stand. This movie also relies way too much on shitty slapstick. And I don't find it funny when people fall down. And I don't find shitty dialogue funny either. Number one, Alvin and the Chipmunks Chip Direct. It's official. It's official! The Alvin and the Chipmunks is the, the hands down the worst movie franchise there is. You know what? All of the other than the chief most movies have in common, they all suck for the same reason. Because those chief monks are troublemakers and they're annoying. And watching any of the other than the monks movies just reminds me of how much I hate those chief monks. This has been the list of the 15 worst movies of 2011. Do you agree with the choices that I made? Do you disagree? Feel free to discuss. That's all I gotta say people. Thank you for watching and have a great day.